Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I'm Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and this is just going to be a collective reading. You know, whatever comes out, comes out, because I don't know. I was like, I want to do things differently is what I was thinking initially, and I say that a lot. So somebody has been contemplating that, I'm just going to say, whether it's in love, life, whatever. But I feel like there is a change coming up. Of course, I took a shower. I got a eye booger in there. That's nice. Anyways... I was going to do my makeup and stuff, but look, I'll do it later. It's not a big deal. I was handling business, you know, taking care of business, paying bills and doing all the boring crap. Um, I don't know. I, I woke up in a, like feeling refreshed for some reason, had some really crazy dreams too. Like I was tossing and turning like you wouldn't believe, but, um, anyways, I wanted to do things differently and then. I don't know, I'm handling things. I can't remember what I was going to say. I want to stop watching and waiting is what I just heard. So I don't know who that is, but there could be somebody who has been keeping tabs on you in a good way, bad way, whatever. Because there's like unhealthy people and healthy people within the energies I pick up on. Um, but I feel like if we're talking about your love interest or someone who's suitable for you. It's like they've been sitting back quietly learning, gathering information about themselves, their situation, how they feel, you, whatever, you know, um, all the reasons why people watch. I've been quiet, but I feel like you know this, like, you know that this person watches you, like, even if you don't have proof, you just know, you feel it, and you've been kind of just investing in yourself, doing what you need to do for you. Biding your time, that's what this person was doing there, biding their time, for whatever reason, it could be different for everyone. I feel like I'm just having a hard time opening up, basically. So let's just kind of see what's going on for whoever, you know. Taking out the trash, cleaning house, you know. We have the four of coins, but it showed up kind of sideways, like it wanted to turn. So there's somebody who has not been very open in this situation. They've been very reserved, holding back their possessions, their money, like probably saving their money. So what I'm feeling, maybe that's what you're working on too. Like I gotta pay, I'm paying my bills and I'm trying to stash away whatever I can because, for my future. Um, and that's a really great thing. So someone in the situation is being very responsible or they're trying to be. And I feel like emotion wise, you know, there's a lot of love between you and someone and this person has been watching you. They've just been holding back, but they're like, you know, I don't want to hold back anymore. The chest is open. So it's like secrets. All this information has been revealed ultimately. And he's pulled one out of it, out of the chest. Like, okay. I'm holding this one close to me because this is all the stuff I was holding on to is what I'm feeling. Like, I was holding on to the past. I was holding on to my money. I was holding on to this, to that, to whatever the fuck it is, you know? It's holding on to you. It's holding back from you. Well, hmm. I think I don't want to hold back anymore. That's kind of what this feels like to me. It could be a water sign or an earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Because that's holding back emotion. So no matter what someone's sun sign is, the king of cups, he loves deeply. He has a lot of emotion, but he doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve. And I kind of feel like that's the type of person you're dealing with. If someone is very reserved, they do hold back, especially emotionally speaking. Yeah, it definitely could be a king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this person is very stable. This person has a lot of passion for you. I feel like... We have the six of wands here too. They see success with you or they're seeing that you're successful in something or they're working towards their own achievements, their own goals and successes because this is also a creative endeavor, creative idea. Like I, there's something I want to pursue and maybe they want to talk to you about that. Um, they've just been like, I don't know if I want to share my ideas. That could be for some of you. But there is communication here, successful communication. This person wants your time and attention. They don't want anyone else to have your attention, basically. It's like, I don't want you to move forward. This is my new beginning. But that's, they were very guarded because six plus one is seven, and that's the defensive energy, which is the main energy here that's starting to flip, potentially. Fuck, I 
and Taurus just land. Potentially um, with this King of Coins person. Someone was worried about loss because four plus one is five, like the five of pentacles. I don't want you to experience lack. So it's almost like I want to give to you because I don't want, I don't want you to be without and I don't want to be left out. So this person was holding back because they didn't have enough to give or they felt that way initially, but it's almost like prioritizing. You know what I mean? There's something this person wants to give to you, even if it's just communication. And this person is very grounded. They're very, they're very stable. Like, they might not always come across that way, but this person, they take care of business, basically. That could be you, even. Um, but yeah, I want to drop, I want to drop my shields, at least a little bit. We got something to say. Because this would be... I don't even feel like that's the recent past. It's not. This is a whole different spread. Like I said, we're doing things differently. So they were holding back. Got a lot of passion for you. I just heard I think about you all the time. And I want to let you know. I want to let you know. Because they've been holding back communication. They've been withholding their truth, ultimately. I kind of want to know what their truth is, just right quick. You know what I mean? Let's see, what is this? sword energy they're seeing things from a higher perspective because there's someone who who wasn't very healthy who, who isn't very healthy I feel like because that dream it make, it's making me think of where the eagle came out of the murky water which can just be like the murky water can be unknown emotions too like setting yourself free from you know the people places and things that don't serve you and it's like all right I'm going to reveal something here there's a lot of healing energy I feel like your words are healing. Like this person, they they look up to you or you look up to them, whichever, for advice, ultimately. Um, somebody has just been working on themselves, period, whether you're involved or not or they're involved. I don't know. But um, that dream was the eagle came out of the water and ate a message, ate a bird, ate a messenger. And that felt really, it didn't feel good. It didn't feel positive. So there are some unhealthy people around who are eating up things that you're saying or watching you because there's a good watcher, a bad watcher, you know what I mean? But let's see. This person doesn't want to be like everyone else. They're not like everyone else, I'm just going to say. Like, I don't want to say the same crap as I've said before. I don't want to say what you hear a million and one times. There is a creative spark within somebody as well. Oh, this person's falling apart. Feelings fading, losing interest. This person might be worried that you're losing interest because they're not hold they're because they're holding back. Because they're not holding back. That makes no fucking sense. But they're not gonna hold back anymore because they were holding back, and I feel like. Do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? Now that I'm going to open up to you. Now that I'm ready to open up. Because <laughs> we have the red string of fate too. Spiritual bond can't be broken. Someone's really holding on to the connection. I feel like a lot of you are hopeful for communication. Just going to say. There is a new start here though. It could be coming in the springtime for some of you. But I feel like... That could be when things really start taking off, but there is forward movement coming sooner. Someone, this king of coins person was maintaining a sense of control over his or her emotions, over the situation. This person has a lot of love for you. They find you sexy, sexy. I don't know, you're very confident, you're very alluring, or they are, someone is. It's like, yeah, this hermit energy, which could be the king of coins, is like, it looks like I'm not paying attention, but I'm learning things. I am paying attention, and I'm looking right at you, like, because he's side-eyeing her, like, hmm, him or her. Connection or relationship. There could be an unhealthy home situation or, or 
a domestic, a, an unhealthy relationship, no matter what that is, no matter if you're single or not, it just could be your environment, stupid people, you know, because this is usually a family situation of some kind. I feel like there could be conflict within a home that someone was working through, like trying to process how, how do I maneuver around this issue, basically, um, whether it's in their life or your life or both your lives. Um, don't worry, the conflict will end successfully, but I feel like there's also an inner conflict because there's a lot of passion here. It's like, is this all passion driven? Like, is this just lust? Is this just, am I going to screw everything up if I move towards this connection? Because is it as stable as I think it is? Can we do this? You know, that's kind of what I'm feeling. Yes, I feel like it will be successful. Someone's really wondering that. Um, but we have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups, which is new love it's a strong new passion but i feel like there's also <clears throat> someone who's used to doing you know the same old same old type work whatever they do for work whatever you do for work and it's like what am i really passionate about what do i love doing um i feel like somebody wants to take their ideas and move forward with them and it's like start it's i want to start doing what I love doing, what I enjoy for my own stability. You and this person will work really well together, um, especially creatively, and maybe they're seeing that, and there, there could be some type of project that someone wants to bring up, like, you know, I have this idea, you know, do you wanna do this together, or something like that. They've been thinking a lot about it. Hmm. have an idea that's what I feel well we have the queen of cups it's funny she was reversed in the deck which means she's I almost feel like it's not overly emotional this is dumping your fucking cup out basically like nope I'm not gonna give to this anymore but she flipped in the upright so someone in this situation cancer Pisces Scorpio might be regardless it's just the energy might be um coming across this way like no I'm not invested in this anymore or I feel like you're not invested in a situation but when it comes to your love interest it's like you're not showing them love you're not you're not doing what you were doing before but the love is still there I feel like I, I care about you it's because someone was just sick of fucking waiting it's like I feel like you're focused on yourself the queen is very intuitive anyways but it's like This queen has already offered her cup of love to probably the king of coins. And it didn't work out. It's like, nope, you didn't want it. Phew. But she still has love here. But I feel like if this king offers this cup, it's the same damn cup. If this king comes in and offers this love, this emotion, even if it's small, this is, this is beautiful though. Because it will, it's evolving it's growing you know you can continue to fill it up the glass is beautiful you know it's a beautiful love um and he or she sees this but the second this person brings this in she'll go yes because she flipped up right like yes i still have freaking feelings you know it'll be successful that's what i'm feeling with that i want a little bit more on this queen of cups energy You're worth the investment. Speak up. Stand up for yourself. Stand your ground. I feel like this Queen of Cups energy has been standing his or her ground. Like, you know, this is what I want. Potentially through a creative endeavor. You're my muse. You could be their muse as well. It just depends. I almost feel like I didn't think I could do certain things, but I can because of you. Like, the energy that this person exudes makes you want to try it makes you want to do new things new exciting things and there is success here for this water energy whoever that is and it doesn't matter what your sun sign is that's just the energy that somebody's embodying because she's very she she loves deeply she stands up for not only herself or himself whichever um but for others for i stand up for what i believe in and that is going to bring success within this situation, but within her, his or her life anyways. And this king of pentacles person is seeing that. You're perfect for me. Someone's also listening to music. I keep getting that energy, so I feel like 
songs remind you of one another but songs will help move this connection forward but it'll also help you move forward in life successfully anyways because it can give you guidance on you know what you need to know at different times is what i'm feeling you know, someone might want to travel to you because they're figuring something out no matter how how far away this person is five minutes three days a month away you know you know what i mean like they could be overseas like they could be states away whatever but i feel like for for the majority of you this person actually isn't that far away from you but there is travel involved um they want to offer their love they want to communicate i need to communicate some type of emotion to you because i don't want to lose this opportunity communication is major in this situation and someone really misses talking to you i'm just saying they want to heal the situation i'm sorry if i hurt you i'm sorry if I'm sorry i didn't provide clarity that's what i want to say with that okay so let's see can i get yeah the two of pentacles is showing up sideways this person is trying to figure out if they should take this leap of faith towards their empress which could be this queen of cups energy like Someone's also moving away from a, a baby mama or just an outdated situation. There could be a pain, pain in the ass mother involved as well for someone that's like, you know, I just, I didn't want to cause problems. I didn't want to deal with the bullshit, you know? Um, it's like, what do I do? For some of you, this person or you could have been, I want to say juggling ideas. Like, I don't know what to do here. Like, I want to do this, but this is what's expected of me is what I feel with this. I don't even feel like it's people. It might have been at one point, but it's like, getting out of your head and letting go and letting God basically and just going, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up Pandora's box basically. I want to try this fun and free, lighthearted energy. I don't want to be so rigid. That's what I feel. Someone does not want to be rigid anymore, but it's really hard for them. It's really hard for them to just fly on faith because um, they, they haven't had faith and it's like, but what if, but what if, but what if stop it with the what ifs, you know, whatever's meant to be will be. And if it's not meant for you, that's fine. You know, yeah, it sucks when you have feelings for someone and it's not reciprocated or you, you try and it doesn't work out, but at least you fucking tried. And then when you fail at that and you go, hmm, okay, well that didn't work out with this person, that situation, this idea didn't pan out. Maybe I got to tweak things around and it'll work out next time. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. That's what life's about. So don't be afraid to fall. This person is realizing that, holy shit, they fucking, holy, yeah. What flew over here? Okay, well. Oh, there's more. Oh, shit. Alright, well, what flew over into the corner was the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Ace of Swords, and the Six of Coins reversed. So, this is like I don't want to give to a situation. Um, you might be telling someone this, like, you know, you're... You're emotionally detached. You're not giving to me emotionally. So I, the truth is I don't want to give to this. I'm, I'm not going to give to it anymore. I feel like this is somebody else though. Because it's a different king. I mean hell. It could be the queen of cups. For some of you. You know you were in your feminine energy. And now you're in your masculine energy. Like you know. I'm going to pull back communication. And reserve my feelings. Which is what I felt with her being reversed. Initially because. You're not giving to me, so what the shit? I'm not gonna give to you. I feel that, but I also feel like there's somebody else who's like, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna give up on the situation because you, you, you want somebody else or they want somebody else. So there's one person who is like, mm, basically out of the running. But I also feel this queen, kind of bouncing back and forth between masculine and feminine energy. Like I'm take charge. And I'm in my feelings, but I'm not overly in my feelings because sometimes the queen of cups can be, you know, just full of emotion. You know what I mean? And some, and we have to have that balance. But anyways, there could be a Leo involved as well. Not necessarily, or it's like a Virgo Leo cusper or something, a Leo Virgo, whatever, <coughs> excuse me. But this is the sunshine on the rainy day. I don't know. You brighten this person's day up. If this person comes in, especially with this love offer, they will brighten your day up. Um, but I feel like this per this king is seeing something. 
I just heard you see you see me. You see right through me. You've always known something like that. You've always known that I had this love for you. I just didn't always know it. <laughs> is what I feel. So the king didn't always know it. Um, like they did, but they didn't. I just heard thanks for not giving up on me. Even though it looks like he did. I don't know. Something like that or vice versa. Because energetically, I feel like he didn't give up on this person. But there's a lot of passion here. And this person wants to ignite. They want to put fire in the cups. Like there's the water there. But it's like when the pat when this when this person comes in pretty quickly actually they might come across as though it's just passionate but it's not like there's or maybe that's how they were looking at you like you're too hot to touch kind of thing but the water will cool it down so it's almost like if i brought water into the situation if i if i brought feelings into the situation it put the fire out because emotion always puts out the passion that's what this person was worried about with connections. Potentially they had shit relationships. And it's like whenever I brought in my feelings, the desire was gone. Somebody, they lost the desire for me. They didn't, they didn't want it anymore. It's like the passion just went out the fucking window. So you have to have one or the other. This person is realizing that with this situation, the passion's always been there. I don't know, the fires, I see fire in the cups. For some reason, it's not a bad thing because it's not going to burn their hands because the water's in there keeping it cool. It's tempering the passion. So it's that balance between I want to do you, do you, do you, and I have a lot of love for you. Because he's reaching out to her like, I'm kind of scared to touch your cup. Like, this is my cup. I'm right here. I got my cup. Mm-hmm. She's putting the passion behind her right now. It's so funny because this seems like it's it's flip-flop now. Because I want to say the love stick, the passion was behind him before. And the cup was behind her. And so she had two fucking cups. And it was like overly emotional. Too much emotion. Maybe it did put the fire out because it was like, wow, you brought too many, too many feelings into the situation. Holy crap. It's too much too soon something. It could have been for someone. But now it's flip-flop because, remember, the queen flipped. She's like, she didn't flip out. She just was like, all right, I'm taking a different approach. I'm pulling back my feelings because it wasn't reciprocated, basically. And I'm putting my passion behind me. Yes, it's still here. Yes, I still want this. I still have love here. But I'm just going to stand here and be like, okay, well, I'm not going to fall into temptation this time. And now... He has the cup behind him, like, because he originally had passion, too. It's like, I can't contain myself. I feel like now he can't contain himself for a different reason, he or she. And it's like, okay, I got this cup. I don't really want to give it. I do, but I don't because I don't want to get hurt. So I'm holding on to it. But as I hold on to this, I'm going to touch your cup. I'm going to go, okay, do you still have feelings? I'm going to reach out. Do you still want this? Do you still like me? Are you going to talk to me the way that you used to? That Someone's going to test the waters. And then all of a sudden it's going to be like. Whew, and the fire will be in the cup. So you have water and fire. Could be someone's signs too. I did say Leo. But that's really cool. And then we have the other wand. Because we got two wands. You both have passion for each other. Just saying. But someone was very guarded against. Um, like this person, well, you didn't sleep with them. I just don't feel like you did because I feel like I was protecting you from the heat. I was protecting you from my passion, your passion, whatever. This king of coins was like, they were protecting you from their love stick because I feel like there could have been some promiscuous energy here. Like, I just didn't know what I wanted. I wasn't ready for for this. Like, if you were anyone else, yes, I would have done it. Like, I wanted to. I want to. I still do. I think about it all the time. I want to know that this opportunity is still there. Someone was afraid to be intimate with you because it's almost like anyone can have sex. Anyone. It's fun. You have a good time. You can be raunchy. You can be sweet. You can be whatever you want to be in the moment when you're fucking doing each other, whoever, you know, just especially if it's just fucking. 
but I feel like because there was hidden feelings here that weren't being revealed, that someone wasn't understanding or they were just afraid of, like, shit, I don't, no, 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 no. Like, I don't know, like, there's a sense of respect here is what I'm feeling. I've gotten that energy before. Um, this person has successfully stayed away from you, which has been very difficult is what I feel because there is a lot of passion here. But I feel like they knew, or you knew, someone knew, maybe both of you knew, that if you would have crossed that line... I would have been done is what I heard. Would have been done. I don't know. There could have been a codependent tie that was formed if that would have happened at that time. I successfully resisted temptation. Some Maybe someone was like, I need to resist temptation. Can I do this? And now they, they feel like they can. And now they feel like, oh shit, now I resisted the wrong person. Or... Uh, did I resist for too fucking long? You know what I mean? It's something like that. I don't know. Sometimes sex can ruin things, you know? And for some of you, this person might have just wanted to be your friend. Yeah, there's love and passion here, but it's like it's too hard to be your friend because I, I, I got to keep myself guarded around you and I feel like you see right through my ass. I don't know if I can. I can't protect these feelings, this desire. It's almost like I don't know if I can stop myself if I'm around you. So I'm just going to stay the fuck away. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm not going to do nothing kind of what I feel but I feel like I really miss your company I miss I miss talking to you I miss I miss I miss I miss I miss I miss I miss, I miss you something like that so someone's missing someone there is good conversation here I feel like you guys are both intellectually charged like you are you share very similar interests and I don't know it's an interesting conversation it's like I don't get bored talking to you because you don't talk about stupid crap you know Someone might feel that way. You got brains and beauty or handsomeness or whatever. Male, female, doesn't matter. You guys enjoy very similar topics of conversation, like subject matters, you know? You're both very intelligent as well. We have the hangman. Someone's seeing things from a different perspective. But I feel like someone wants to come in because they're missing you. I want to I wanna come in and hang out. Can we talk? I need to enlighten you on a few things. Let's hang out. Let's talk. I need to give you clarity on how I feel. This could be drinking at night, too, because I don't know why I feel that way. I just do. I just saw the Wheel of Fortune, which is, you know, I want to move things forward. So if this person comes over and wants to talk, there is a bit of an ulterior motive here. I don't feel like it's a negative one. I just feel like I want to let you know something, basically, because this is over the Ace of Cups secret feelings like I'm putting the cup behind me I'm coming in in a friendly way the nine to the ten I, I secretly have your tenth cup sitting right here right here waiting for you I'll be right here waiting for you is what, is what I just heard but that's the, the king of coins is like I don't know there's a sense of emotional fulfillment I feel fulfilled and Someone might be keeping their fulfillment to themselves. You know, like, I have done the work. I've been working on myself. I feel like both of you have been, but it's like, I know what the ultimate fulfillment is. And it's giving you my cup, getting your cup, because this is the 10. Someone secretly thinks of you as their, like, you fill all my fucking cups up, basically. They might need liquid courage to say that, but I kind of feel like I want to hang out. I want to hang out. I want to talk. Because you make me happy. I really love talking to you. Like, I just want to keep saying it. Something like that. Um, you guys are manifesting each other. Even if it's not consciously. It's wish fulfillment. But I do feel like there is somebody who's going to be very successful. You know, financially successful with a creative endeavor. Maybe both of you together will. But I kind of feel like I'm following my dreams. As I'm working on myself and balancing things out, I am working towards my stability. And I do feel like stability is increasing for someone. Like, I'll be good with or without you is what this is. So there's no codependency here. Even if someone doesn't have much money, you know, even if they don't look very stable, trust me, this person is very stable. I feel like you're stable too. Um, I feel like you're wishing for each other as well. Someone's wishing for stability. Someone's wishing for someone's fucking demise is what it is. Like... <sighs> Someone feels, this one feels left out. 
I want to put your success behind you. I want to block your success. Because so, someone feels left out. So there, there are other people surrounding the situation or another person. It could be a masculine energy. But this person's like, I don't want to be left out of your life. And I don't want you... I don't want you to be successful because if you're successful, the devil's starting to poke out. Someone's mask is slipping here. If you take away my stability, I'll take yours away. Like, I don't know. This is kind of selfish shit. Someone's looking at something all fucking wrong. I don't know who it is. It's like cancer festering in, in a situation. If you don't get it fucking removed, it's going to take over and cause problems, you know? Judgment. There is a decision here for this Queen of Cups energy. I feel like she already knows what she wants, he or she. It's like, if you reject me, you rejected my divine offer, basically, like, you, you rejected my big love. Because that's what the magician's pointing at, like rejection. As above, so below. It's like, okay, well, you rejected me. That's fine. Rejection can be divine protection. I'm going to pray for the one that, that I deserve. I'm going to pray for for someone who isn't going to fucking turn my ass down, basically. So your manifestations are still coming in, even if things don't work out with the person that you think it's going to work out with or that you want it to work out with. But look, there's two fucking cups that are showing up here, and it's almost like, okay, someone's manifestations are coming in, and it looks like someone doesn't care, that they're looking at something else. Someone might be looking at something else. Someone else, or they were. I almost feel like I'm not happy with this. I'm praying for this. That's coming in though. In a very slow way. Potentially by an earth sign. Because this is friendly energy. With a Virgo. Someone who has been doing a lot of soul searching. Someone's been talking to the dead too. Um, like spiritual enlightenment stuff. But I feel like there's an... Yeah. Someone wants to give to the situation. They've been heavenly. heavenly? They've been heavenly thinking about it. Heavily thinking about it because that's the six I want to give to this. I want This is going to be fixed, basically. So you're not going to be left out. You're not going to be without. I don't feel like you are anyways. But this queen, yeah, she's very, very intuitive. There's healing energy here. She's been working on herself or his self, whatever. I'm standing up for what I believe in is what this is. She's already made a decision. I don't know. There's a final call here. I just heard you want it all. You're getting it all. The divine is going, good karma is coming this one's way. Wishes are coming in. I feel like she sees it. You know it. You feel it. Something like that. If you do any spiritual work, whether you read tarot, you do mediumship, tarot, well, I don't know, anything like that. Psychic abilities. If you're using your cre your creativity. I don't know. Someone's creativity is sparked by the divine anyways. It's like spirit communicates through someone's art, through their work. No matter what that is. It could be writing. It could be painting, drawing, you know, whatever. We do a million and one things. But spirit communicates to us through our creative pursuits a lot of the times. And that's what's going on here. So maybe somebody's seeing that because there's a lot of similarities between you and your love interest. Like, you, you, you're thinking about the same things, the same topics. I don't know. Something like that. But... I don't know, there's like clarity. Someone's speaking their truth. Spirit's speaking through someone, just they are. But there's a decision here. You're getting good karma. Someone is. And the good karma has to do with someone you want coming in. Yeah, somebody wants to heal things with you. They want to move towards you. Could be someone from your past. Soulmate energy. Your emperor wants to apologize for being so stubborn that's what I feel whoa yeah for not moving things forward for fearing forward movement I don't know there's a lot of fear here someone could have been dealing with the devil or a Capricorn anyways but this is block communication someone might an outsider might want to apologize for blocking communication unless you block this person uh, literally online or because it could be a past person who's blocked Hell, you could have blocked your love interest. Who knows? But 
I feel like even if it's not literally being blocked, someone was just blocking communication because they were talking about anything but the elephant in the room, basically. Maybe somebody's confused about why why you're not talking to them. Like, why aren't you reaching out? Why haven't you initiated communication? They're fearing that it's done, that that just isn't going to move forward now because of what they've done. But it will. You got to let go of the burdens. You got to push through to get to your Ten of Cups, basically. I do feel like somebody is blocking out a negative energy. They're blocking out, you know, anyone who doesn't mean you well. You're just like, Shh, piss off. Um, so if there's a choice in love between two people, the devil's going away. It's like, okay, I see what the problem is. Peace, bitch, you know. Um, so someone is blocking the devil so that they can move towards their Ten of Cups, their emotional fulfillment. It's like, this isn't making me happy. This is making me happy. Or you make me happy. That person doesn't. You know, no one could really make us happy. But you know what I mean. They add to your happiness. Because this one just creates a lot of blocks. There's no forward movement with someone from the past who is not so nice. The devil was trying to stop the Ten of Cups, I'm just saying. And I feel like it worked for a hot minute. I really do. I feel like it's still kind of working, but not really. Because somebody's starting to see and they're changing their mind. They're not really changing their mind. They're, they're going to start taking action. Because there is quite a, bit of action, ugh, quite a bit of action. Yeah, there's success here. I want to win. There's like a battle of the egos here. So if there's multiple masculine energies in this situation, I do feel that testosterone crap. Like, you know, anything you can do, I can do better. You know, things are balancing out. Someone wants to apologize. I see you. Judgment. Justice. Karma is being delivered. I'm sorry, but this empress was living in a fucking nightmare. I'm just saying there's sneaky motherfuckers. Holy shit. Sneaky motherfuckers all around this empress person, this family situation, whoever it is. It's like, I almost feel like someone who was like, oh, I'm, there's a, there's a family situation here or a relationship. But someone was, like, keeping hush-hush. They're looking back at it now, right as they're walking towards the Empress. That's a nightmare in the making. I don't know what that is. But don't worry, justice will be served in that one. I kind of feel like whatever someone's been doing to you, whatever juju they've been sending your way, whatever actions they've been taking towards you, whatever injustices were happening, because this is definitely an injustice. Someone's living in a nightmare. Um, that's being rectified. I also feel like whoever is harming you physically or if they're, you know, the hacker crap, whatever someone's doing, because they definitely could be hacker crap, stalker crap. Someone might be stalking a Scorpio or there's a Scorpio involved or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone's changing their mind on something because they don't want to end up in jail. Um, but I feel like they're, anyone who has been stalking you literally or causing problems, like illegal problems, they're, they're, they're going to jail. But I also feel like if they're doing shit that's not illegal, they're getting some shit karma. I don't know, shit just ain't working out. But I feel like you know this. You know what's headed someone's way. And it's all, oh, how's my ass look as I walk away? I don't know. There is somebody who is walking to the light too. There's death in the situation. There just is. Someone might be very burdened by that. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. But don't worry. I feel like between you and your love interest, there's healing. Like this can be healed. Someone will physically heal if there's a health issue. I just heard I didn't want to get hurt in battle. So, somebody could be afraid of getting hurt. I feel like they're afraid of getting emotionally hurt. Possibly because of a drunken rage. Someone's going to have to heal from that. I don't know. There's either alcoholism here that someone's going to have to deal with. 
maybe, um, heal from. Or there's an alcohol-fueled fight that's like, ugh, you know, I saw this coming. I don't want to fucking deal with it. It's, I don't know, something like that going on. If that happens, someone's getting arrested. I'm just saying. And it is tied to money. It could be tied to a family situation. But I feel like I want to stand up for this. I want to invest. We see, I see a lot of potential here. That's what I feel. All right, that's pretty much what I have, but we'll just get one of these and then I'll go. I'm hungry. I made meatloaf in honor of meatloaf last night because he passed away in honor. There's someone in the service who is passing away because I was just talking about that. You could be, like your person could be a vet or a veteran or um, they're in the service. That could be why there's so much like distance and space and time between the two of you. Um, Cause deployment, soldier on leave. But dealings with the law. I just heard I don't want to sacrifice this. I don't want to sacrifice you. Someone initially didn't want to make a sacrifice for a connection, but I feel like I'd rather sacrifice a little bit of comfort versus you, you or losing you. A wish is coming in. I just heard I prayed for you. All right, I just want one. Well, there's addictions here. Bad habits. I did say there could be somebody with alcoholism they could be freeing themselves from addictive behaviors we can be addicted to anything it doesn't even have to be substances it could be gambling sex whatever and i did feel like someone was like resisting temptation and they're proud of themselves that they did so there is a sense of freedom like you know the things that were holding me back before are not fucking holding me back no more maybe somebody was judging you especially if you do have any addictions like whether it's alcohol drugs whatever or gambling sex somebody could have I feel like I felt exposed transparency it's like I had to free myself from you because you saw right through me you knew what I was fucking doing I don't like it basically they had to really clear their head and let go of some past crap which I feel like through healing through thinking through cleaning out the attic space you know recovering they're seeing more clearly and they are freeing themselves from unhealthy habits behaviors whatever um They were just trying to numb the pain because there was something from their past that was really bothersome. Someone could have been dealing with PTSD. I do feel the nightmare thing. I just do. You could be sharing nightmares with this person. And some of them really suck. Especially if it's anything that I've fucking been dreaming about. I was like, I don't know. Some of the dreams are just really weird. They're not always nightmares, but not all of them make fucking sense. Like, I don't know. It's really confusing. But, and that could be how you're feeling. Fireworks. Sudden epiphany, intense feelings. This person is going to message you. Remembrance, reminiscing over the past, re reminiscing over past conversations. But I also feel like somebody is heavily thinking about somebody who crossed over a friend, potentially a soldier, because that energy is coming up. Like they're reminiscing over good times. It's like you're going to forget the bad. And if you were struggling with a loss of any kind, I do feel like. You know, someone's focusing on the good times. I just heard you brought up memories I forgot about. Or there are memories that have come to the surface for someone that they forgot about. About somebody. And it's like... Really getting someone in their feelings. But this is like, yay, energy. Remember the time when we fell in love. You know, like, remember the time, Michael Jackson... When we're on the phone from dawn till three. What about us, girl? Could have been video chat, could have been phone phone, could have been pillow talk, you know? But I kind of feel like it's the phone thing because actually in the last reading I did, I was talking about my daughter to talk about farts and crap and whatever. But she was on, that made like a fart noise. <laughs> anyway, that was a squeaker. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? I'm just saying. No, she's on the phone with that Donnie kid, and 
she, she fell asleep on the phone with him like because they didn't want to hang up which is so cute and I kind of feel that energy between you and someone like do you remember the time we were on the phone forever and we just couldn't hang up like no you hang up no you hang up even if you didn't say that it's like I just don't want to hang up I want to keep talking like I feel the number two is here could be talking for two hours it could have happened twice or it could have happened with two different people you know and it's like who's your who who do you want um I do feel like there are a couple people that are going to move towards you, I'm just saying. And neither one of them are really bad, but it's like, really listen to your heart. Who do you feel connected to the most, you know? I don't know, there's similarities here. Because one of them is locked up, and the other one is the road less traveled. One of them, is, when, when I say locked up, for some of you, someone could legit be in jail or they're going to get locked up. But I, their heart was locked up. So it's like, one of them is, there's no key in the world that's going to open that. Because they're just not allowing it. And there's nothing anyone can do about that. Um, but the road less traveled is like, you might not know as much about this other individual. When they were feeling lost, they needed direction. But I feel like it's a whole new experience. And... It's life-changing with, with another who's going to be open, you know? It's going to come out of fucking nowhere. This is massive change, divine order, sudden shock. Like, holy crap, I didn't expect you to tell me that, you know? Well, someone's going to have an attitude problem. Just tell them to kiss off. It is what it is with the fucking ta the tower. Well, that's probably part of the tower. Like, someone's going to have a problem. But the turtle has a lot of passion for you. There is someone here who does want money. Like, I don't know. They see dollar signs with you. Because I kind of feel like that's the one you need to... Someone's been working on their finances. But there is someone who's slowly moving towards you. Has a lot of passion for you. That you might have to tell off. Because they just want your money. You'll know. Because that person just... I don't know. It's kind of superficial. You guys don't even talk really. And when you do talk, you get bored. Like, you don't have those in-depth conversations. I don't know. You just don't feel the connection. There is a friend who has a lot of passion for you and they want to move things forward. I feel like probably starting off as friends, but hey, loser. I was going to say, hey, butt munch, hey, butthead, um, which I was actually going to text a friend that just because that's how I am. But anyways, it's something like that between you and someone joking around, being lighthearted. Someone's taken out to trash, though. There's someone you thought was your friend that isn't your friend. Um, but there's a hidden truth being revealed through going through the attic space. Like, okay, as I process through this information, um, I'm getting rid of people and places and things that don't serve me. But I feel like you could be unfriending people on social media. You could have unfriended this friend as well who is this there's like fun and flirty energy here but I, why you why'd you unfriend them maybe they were talking shit willow vines one way because they were being selfish but there is a recognition here they're seeing something they don't want to be one way. They were a pain in the ass and misguided is what I feel. Like, I don't know, there's selfish energy with this dumpster diver, but they can't stop looking at you. They're right at the edge because they're seeing something. I don't know, you didn't put up on my crap is what I want to say. You didn't put up on my shit. I don't say crap, I say shit. Here's your sign. <coughs> Call me maybe. <laughs> it's a fucking soldier one. I got to watch that because that's so funny. But anyways, yeah, I don't know. What's up with this real quick? This, this friend person has been seeing signs and synchronicities about you. Someone could have been talking shit about you. This person could have. But I feel like there's people around them that were. It's almost like, no, I don't like that person. This person wants to heal a friendship with you. Yeah, because they want a lot more with you. They were controlling their feelings. They, they were dealing with someone who was controlling from the past, potentially. And they're moving away from that. That's what it looks like. But they were worried about money. Yeah, they were very burdened by... A fucking evil bitch. I'm just saying. I don't know. They were burdened by their finances. Like, I gotta pay child support. I gotta pay this. I gotta pay that. I gotta fucking pay everything. I don't think I can offer you love because 
this bitch takes all my fucking money. I don't know, something like that. I just don't have anything. I don't have anything to give. But this person's realizing that they do have a lot to give. This person fucking loves you, and they're the ones that... Holy crap, I feel like this is gonna be somebody that you gave up on that's just like, this person don't give two fly fucks about me, you know? They're probably talking shit too. No, there's other people talking shit about you to them and vice versa. Maybe this person didn't stand up for you, but they want to now. They're heavily thinking about crap, but I feel like I want a relationship with you. I'm gonna take take charge of the communication, say something. Um, Herman Energy, Virgo. Yeah, I can't stop thinking about you. <clears throat> there is a scary home situation here. Someone was fearing commitment too, or they didn't want to bring the crazy into your life, or they didn't want to cause drama, hate and, hate and discontent in your life, or they didn't want the drama in your life or the crazy in your life to affect them. You know what I mean? But I kind of feel like this is all a scare tactic just to keep someone at bay. It just is like whatever i don't know there's a friendship here that could be turning to more someone that you thought moved away from you that doesn't want you at all but they do they've just been they've been hurting without you i feel like i'm worried about giving you my damn cup there's a lot of love here this person loves you i'm leaving it at that i just i just them you're praying for each other go get your prayer you know go answer someone's prayer get your prayer answered do whatever you need to do here's your motherfucking sign you might have known this person since you were a child because i just saw innocence it's our love story. Ugh, my stomach. But anyways, I love you guys. I'm gonna go. Peace.